<laughs> nice to see you, man. Thank you for connecting. I see that you're driving right now. That's okay, right? Drive. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm glad to see you. All right. We're just going to wait for everybody else right now. Drive safe, man. All right. Sandra, nice to see you. All right. Hello, Sandra. Hello. Nice I'm to see you. I'm a bit late. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's all right. All right. We're just uh, waiting for everybody else right now. How was your day? How was okay. work? Well, I don't remember. It was kind of, I just blink and it was day. And just that. It you was just, really just boring. And, and it, well, I what I wanted to mean it was I just blink and it was already day. <laughs> All right, blinked. I just yeah, blinked. I just blinked. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right. Well, yeah, I know it's uh hard when you have a lot of things to do. Yeah. But anyways, welcome. So aside from Thank that, we, we, how was you know how was work? Well, it at this moment it is all good and boring. So today I had scheduled an appointment to visit the doctor, but the the doctor just told me that he or she I don't know is not going to be or I mean wasn't be able to receive me today. Okay. All right, very good, very good, okay. All right. Yeah. So anyways, okay, Um, I'm happy that you're here. Hold on. Yeah, thank you. I was working on the platform and I have some issues with an exercise and I don't know what happened there. All right, we're, we're, this, we can see them, don't okay. worry. Okay. I'm sorry, were you going to say something else? Oh, no. All right, Laura apparently is not going to be present because she is at the hospital. All right, okay. guys. So I know Emer is getting connected. So, aside from Laura, oh, uh, Claudia, right? Yeah. Claudia and Carolina. Is Eric driving? Uh, yes, he's driving. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So, guys, by the way, tomorrow is our last day together. All right. So, <laughs> so let's uh, let's you know, let's enjoy the class. Okay. All Aren't right, you going on. to be with us in the next level? Uh, that's the thing. Oh, uh, Karina was about to send you a message as well. Anyways, welcome, guys. Um, 
uh, there is no other level. Uh, I mean, there there are other courses. If you have not missed class, you can mm -hmm. you can sign up for them. Um, but that's not with me. That's that's like different. I'm not in that sort of program. Um, pretty much this program is from basic to advanced three. And then after advanced three, you know, that's uh, that's the end of this one, this program of one hour then. Um, then you got like programs with two hours and such. Um, that's a different thing. So you can still keep learning. Okay. All right, if you do have a good attendance. All right, very good. Carolina, welcome, all right. And welcome, Claudia. All right, guys, so let's get started. We're just missing Emer. Emer says he's eating. Uh, I bet he'll, he'll join us. Uh, hold on, I'm gonna text him. All right, guys, so very interesting topic today, guys. We are gonna talk, talk about mixed conditionals, okay? First of all, guys, all right, we have to remember what a conditional is. All right, how many how many um, conditionals do we have, and what do they do? What do we use them for? Okay. So these are topics. These are um, topics that we have already um, gone through in this, um, you know, in previous modules. Okay. Now, to talk about that, guys, um, let me ask you, okay, what conditionals do you know? How many conditionals do we have? Uh-huh. Are you talking about grammar, first con conditional, zero conditional, or the words that expresses, or the word that express conditions, like exception, contrast? No, the, or... the, the conditionals. Um, there are, there are, you know, a certain amount of conditionals that we use, right? So how many of them are there and what are they? Uh huh. All right. Let's try with uh, Carolina. Hello, Carolina. <laughs> Why am I? I'm, I'm thinking about. I'm done. All right. <laughs> We're I good, think okay. they are safe. Are you talking let, about real let me, conditionals? Right. Let me give you. Imaginary? Like or... big conditional. I don't right. know. Give me an example, all right? Let's try with an example first. Again, then we're gonna we're gonna take off from there. Okay. If I had a million dollars, I won't be in a I don't know, things like that, I think. Okay, okay. If I had a million dollars, what? I wouldn't be in a salvador. <laughs> okay. Very good, okay. Uh I wouldn't I wouldn't be in El Salvador. Okay, very good, okay. That's an example of what type of condition? Like, good evening, Emer. Sorry, I was it. That's an example of what type of condition, guys? An unreal. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. All right. We're, we're going to see that. Okay. All right. Very good. Okay. Uh, Sandra, now that you heard okay. one example, give me one example on, on your own. Okay. Uh, uh huh. If I read a lot of books, I can learn a lot. If I read a lot of books, I can learn a lot. Okay, very good. Okay. All right. That's good. Okay. Very good. All right. What type of conditional is that? The real one. The real the one. Present conditional. Yeah. The real Slim, slim Shady. <laughs> All right. No. No? Okay. All right, very good. Uh, let's see. All right, but that, that was a good example, okay? All right. I don't think we still, you know, we still don't know what type of conditionals those are, but good example, nevertheless, okay? All right. So, uh, Emer, give me another one. About future, future continuous. No, no. <laughs> about, 
uh, a conditional, okay? Uh, any any conditional. Any conditional, yes. Any conditional whatsoever. If if uh, uh huh. If I study harder, I will have a better job. Okay, so if I study harder, uh -huh. I will have a better job. Okay, that's another type of conditional. Good job. All right, uh, let's see. Claudia, give me another one. What else do we have? Claudia, Claudia, Claudia. All right, uh, let's see. Uh, well, Eric is not able to participate there. Carolina, I can. Uh -huh. Okay, all right, Karina, go. I have another one. I was thinking. Go ahead. If you hit eyes, it melts. If you hit eyes? Oh, you mean heat? Yes. Okay, heat. very good. Okay, very good. Okay, all right. Good job. Okay. All right, I think. You might be on Google because that's very, very, very known. No, I'm not. I can share oh, my not? screen. No, no it's not. okay. I mean, even if you are, it's okay, right? That's... No, the thing is I teach science. Teach nothing, and I was nothing, thinking about the, the... Nothing wrong about that. Don't worry. Okay? The good thing. Teacher, teacher, good afternoon. Don't you listen to me, teacher? Yeah, I can hear you now. I can hear you now. Okay. All right, guys. So let's talk about... Have... Go ahead. I'm sorry. Teacher, I have an a example. Go ahead. Go ahead, Claudia. Yes, for example, if I had uh, gotten a new job, a new job, I would have a lot of money. Okay. All right. Um, very good. Now, Claudia, I would recommend you practicing pronunciation. Good job. Okay, that can, the search for a conditional is good. But um, it's it's really hard to understand you because of the pronunciation of consonants and vowels. Yeah. Um, okay. So, so let's okay. work on that. It's not Joe, it's job, right? So uh, job, uh huh. Exactly, right? Not Joe. Or could be work. All right, uh, not not or really. Or could be work. I uh, not not really. It's it's different. It's different. But uh, but the structure of the conditional was okay. All right, guys, so oh, okay. let's let's warm up, okay? So, Emer, help me read. Warm up. What would you do nowadays if you had become a rock star? All right, everybody repeat, guys, and let's not pronounce this, okay? There is no L there, okay? What would you do nowadays if you had become a rock star? Repeat, guys, what would you do nowadays if you had become a rock star? What would, what you, would do? you do what would you nowadays, nowadays if you right, had become a rock star? Become a rock star? Yes. These guys don't say wool, okay? Wool guys equals lana, okay? All right? Wool doesn't exist, guys, for it, it's not a modal verb, okay? Anyways, guys, so Sandra, what would you do nowadays if you had become a rock star? Okay, if I had become a rock star nowadays, I would travel around the world. Very good. Okay, become. Okay, not be. be I, I don't know if you say became. It was no, here, become. become. Okay, very good. Okay, good job. All right, plus for Sandra, guys. Good job, Carolina. Same question. If I had become a rock star, I would have a tattoo. <laughs> okay, all right. You can have a tattoo even though you know you're not a rock star. No, I don't like them. Oh, you don't like them, so. <laughs> Okay. Why? But I will be that crazy of being uh, a rock star, so I will be the crazy of having the tattoo. <laughs> you know what? I have one for you. If you, if you had become a rock star, you would be as cool as Cheyenne, right? <laughs> I would say something <laughs> like that, you know. All uh, right, very good. All right, Eric. Oh no, I'm sorry. Eric is driving. Uh, Imer, same question to you, uh, sir. I will buy a lot of houses. You would buy a lot of houses, okay? Very good. Claudia, uh, same question to you, Claudia. Uh, if I had become a rock star, uh -huh. uh, I would... Would, not good. You're saying good. I would. Would, not <laughs> I good. Would. 
good no uh, chains all right it's not you're saying My good house. you're saying good no no you. no the other the other the how do you, i know how, i know how to spell it how do you pronounce it good good no good. it's not good good like that what it's okay good. right i i always always encounter this type of problem right if okay, i can so. become a, a rock star i go I could uh, change to a mm -hmm. new house. I would change my house. Okay. Oh, Very good. House. Okay. Very good, guys. Okay. Yeah. Good job, guys. Good, good, good job. Okay. All right, guys. So to understand this better, guys, let's talk about conditionals. Okay. So, <clears throat> so conditionals, guys. Okay. What type of conditional do we have here? What type of conditional is this sentence? First conditional. All right, very good, guys. Okay, this is a first conditional, right? All right, very good. If I go to the supermarket, I will buy meat, okay? Number two, Carolina, uh, help me read it, and what type of conditional is that? If I know how to drive, I will go everywhere. That's the second conditional. Very good. This is a second conditional. All right, uh, Emer, number three. And tell me what conditional it is. Third conditional. All right, help me read. If I had known this class would be this awesome, I would have taken it earlier. I would have taken it earlier, right? Very good, guys. Okay, this is a third conditional. So what makes the difference, guys? Okay, what is a mixed conditional? A mixed conditional, guys, in the platform, the platform only teaches you about two conditionals, okay? Mixing up two conditionals, the second conditional and the third conditional, all right? That's what the platform teaches you right now, okay? But a mixed conditional, guys, can be a combination of either, you know, uh, one of these, okay? So you can combine, you know, uh, you can combine second conditional and third conditional. You might be able to combine, you know, uh, the part of another conditional, right? It depends if you're talking about the past or the future, okay? So, what do you combine? The if clause and the main clause. The, the main clause and the if clause. The if clause, right? And the main clause, all right? Got it? So far, so good? Yeah. So, that's what yeah. you end up combining, guys, okay? All right, so for example, okay, uh, Claudia, help me read yes. and let's identify what, you know, what we are combining here. So we're combining here, guys, the present and the past, okay? All of these sentences are combining the present and the past, okay? So let's take a look at this. Claudia. Yes. Go ahead. I go, are you? I go have both the red dress. Very good, okay, if I were, okay. all right, that, that pronunciation of the W, but anyways, if I were you, I would have bought the red dress, okay? All right, so what, what are we combining here, Claudia? What do you think? Um, what, two, what two conditionals are we combining here? Um, the second conditional? Where is the second conditional? The second conditional is if I were. Very good. Okay. If I were you, good job. Okay. This is a the, the, the if clause of the second conditional. Very good. All right. What else are we combining here? What is this part, uh, Sandra? I would have bought uh, I would have bought the, the red dress. The third main conditional. conditional. This is a third conditional. Very good. Okay. Good job, guys. Okay, so you're combining here second and you're combining third here okay very good now guys this is this is what we're gonna focus on today okay this type of combination right here all right but anyways i just want to show you guys that we can combine more conditionals okay carolina next one help me read it and tell me what type of conditional are you know we're combining here the second one teacher yes go ahead if the teacher were here, 
she would have she would have turned on the heater this morning. Very good. Okay. I think it's the same like the first. Second. Second and third. Okay, and then third. Very good. Okay. All right, Emer, next one. If a students had more time, they would have finished their work yesterday. Very good. What conditionals are we combining here? Um, second. Where is the second conditional? The first one. Okay, good job. Okay, this is the, the second conditional, huh? And what else? Third. <laughs> okay, we're combining the third, right? Very good, guys. Okay, so we're combining, guys, the present and the past, okay? So far, so good? Yeah. yeah. All right, very good. All right, so now the present and the future, guys. Okay, what type of conditional is this, Claudia? The first clause. Okay, let's read it. Let's read it, okay, and then tell me what type of conditionals we're combining here. If I were you, I would call Tom and apologies. And the, uh, is I were, is the second conditional. Okay. And what else? It is the third conditional. Is this is the third conditional? And by the, the way, third. this is apologize. Okay, very good. Is this a third conditional, guys? I would call Tom and apologize. It's the first one. Yes. Is it the uh, first it's one? one. Yes, it's yes. the second. It's still it's the second, second one. one. Okay, right. So, all right. Why? So, if we want to talk about the present and the future, okay, all right, this is a second conditional structure. Okay, the main clause. The reason why, Claudia, is because of the structure right here. Okay. Um, I'm not. This is this is from a previous topic, so I'm not going to explain. You know what is what is you know what the structure of a second conditional is. But this right here, Claudia, is the structure of a second conditional. This right here, the whole thing, is the structure of a second conditional, okay? All right, very good, guys, okay? All right, so what about the future and the past, okay? Uh, help me read, Emer. If they weren't traveling to France on Thursday, they would have planned to attend your birthday party. All right. Okay. What type of conditionals are here? The second one. Uh-huh. And the third one. Okay. Second yes. and third conditional. Okay. Right. Now, notice something, guys. Okay. We're talking about the future now and the past together. How is that possible? So, what is what is the clause talk? What which is the clause here that talks about the future? The wolf have. On Thursday. These were these guys, okay. If, yeah. Right, right, okay. If they if they weren't traveling to France on Thursday, so so is this talk is, is this talking about an event in the future right now? When I say, you know, they're they're not traveling. I mean that they are traveling. Because first of all, guys, are they traveling or not? Mm. They had already traveled. No. Oh. No. They were. No. They were not traveling. Uh, yes, they are. No, guys. Well, okay, hold on. All right, don't get confused, guys. Yes, guys, they are traveling. Yes, the thing is, oh, yeah. is that they weren't traveling, but they are traveling. So. <laughs> okay, this yes, is they not, are. Okay, right. So, first of all, guys, this is not talking about the past. Okay? The past no. This is talking about an unreal situation. Mm -hmm. So, the unreal situation is that you know they are not traveling, that is unreal. The real situation is that they are they are traveling. that they are traveling okay all right so keep that in mind so these right here guys okay this clause right here all right hold on let me do it like this okay so this clause right here guys okay this is talking about the future all right and then what about this they would have planned to attend her birthday party what about that that's the, that's, that is the past. Okay, this is talking about the past, right? Mm -hmm. So this is talking about a real or, a, or an unreal situation, guys? Unreal. It is talking about an unreal situation, right? 
So these guys, they, did they plan? Listen no. to the question, right? The question is in the past. Did they plan? No. No, right? they didn't. No. Very good. Okay. So this is so if you wanna if you wanna understand, guys, ask yourself the question, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Are they traveling? All right. And did they plan? All right. So the first question, guys, is talking about the future here, and the second question is talking about the past. Got it? Got it. All right. Very good. Number two, uh, Emer. Let's analyze if, the second one, all right? Go. I mean, read I, it and then let's analyze it. If I weren't quitting, quitting my job in two weeks, I would have purchased you purchased. a gift, purchased you a gift for Christmas. All right. That's an excuse. <laughs> if I weren't quitting my job in two weeks, I would have purchased you a gift for Christmas, okay? So what are the questions that we can ask here, Emer? Mm. About the future. Let's ask something about the future here. Uh, a question about the future. All right, let, okay, remember, you're combining the future and the past, okay? So, so according to what you can read, what question would you be able to ask me about the future? Easy peasy, man. You're a programmer. <laughs> uh, I don't get your question. I understand the question, but I don't understand uh, why. Remember, remember okay. That. So pretend that these are, pretend that the, each clause, all right, each clause is an answer, okay? This is an answer, right? This whole thing is an answer. If they weren't traveling to France on Thursday, so you can ask, for example, are they traveling? Is this a question in the, in the past, the present, or the future? Emer, let's say on yeah. Thursday, right? So uh, are they traveling on Thursday? It's future. Okay, very good, okay? Because the answer, the answer is, hold on, hold it, hold it, hold it. All right, the answer is right here, see? Yeah. All right, very good. So what question, uh, all right, so what question can I ask I, about the future here? I mean, what, am I best? quitting? <laughs> Very good, good job, okay? So the question would be, am I quitting, okay? <laughs> am I quitting, yeah. very good, all right? Now, what question can you ask me about the past? Uh, well, uh, was I, no, it's not, did I first purchase? Purchased? Purchased. Did I, huh? Purchase you. Did I purchase you a gift? Did I purchase you a gift? No, right. Very good. A plus for Emer. Huh? Hey, man. Woo. Good job, right? So, see, you guys. Okay. Is it clear, guys, why we're talking about the future and the past together here? Yes? No? Claudia? Emer? Yes. Karina? Sandra? Are we good? All right, all right, all right, we're good. Okay, guys, so with that being said, guys, okay, it's time to jump into the mixed conditionals, okay? Now, we're, mm. we're gonna talk about, we're gonna talk about the second example, I mean, the first example that we saw, okay? All right, so what did we use it for, Sandra? We use it for hypothetical situations in the past that affect the present. Very good. Okay. Hey, something, you know, imaginary that happened in the past has, you know, has, uh, you know, affects your present, right? All right. So that's pretty much it. You're combining the past and the present. Okay. That's a mixed condition, all that we can see now. All right. Now, let's identify, guys. Okay. All right. I know you did this already, guys, because you, you already know what conditionals are. So let's skim it, guys. You know what? Do you know what skim is? Skim? Yes. All right. Let's skim the paragraph yeah. and let's determine which conditionals we have here. Okay. So you have a better understanding on when we use conditionals, for example. All right. So let's quickly skim it and then let me know.
you can tell me whenever you find one. I found one picture. Nice. I okay. found Which, two. Very good. All right. Which one is the one that you found, Carolina? If the police want to solve this mystery, they will need the CCTV footage from the street. Very good. If the police want to solve this mystery, very good job. All right. Close for Sandra, guys. Good job, Sandra. Carolina. I mean, Carolina. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, guys. So, uh, hold on. I'm sorry, Carolina. So, all right, so right here, guys, okay, they will need the CCTV footage from the street, okay? I think that's a little bit too big. Now, what, what condition is this, guys? The first right. one. That is the that first is condition the now, first. okay? Very good, okay? Good, good, good job, all right? Uh, Sandra, which other conditional were you able to identify here? If we'd seen the truck before, we'd solve this mystery now. Very good. If we've, uh, if we'd seen that truck before, we'd solve this mystery now. What type of conditional is that? The third. Very good. Yeah. Okay. Now, is that is that a third or a mixed conditional, guys? Mixed. It's third. a mixed conditional. It's a mixed conditional. Okay. What what conditionals are we mixing up here? In the if clause, it's third conditional. In the main clause, the second conditional. Very good. Applause for Sandra. Okay. <laughs> All right. Good job, Sandra. Uh, let's see. Let's let's take a look at this one. Okay. And then it's your turn, Eber. Let me know. I found I found one. Okay, right. Where where is it? If it had been going slower, I would I would have had a chance to see the driver. Okay, very good. If it had been going slower, I would have had a chance to see the driver. Very good. Okay, applause for Emer. Good job, Emer. What conditionals do we have here? The second and third. The second and third conditional. Where's the second conditional? Is the second would 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 have has. Okay, would have had a chance, okay. All right, that's, that's, is that a second conditional? Or a third one? Third. Okay, that's the third one, right? Where is the second conditional? The first one. All right, is that, is, is that a second conditional, guys? No. No, no. It's still okay. still third conditional. It's still a third conditional, right? Very good. Now, take a look at something, guys, okay? Take a look at the difference between this, okay, the, the, the one that we just uh, read versus the previous one, okay? If this, if it had been going slower, I would have had a chance to see the drivers, the driver. Am I talking about the past or the future or the present or both or, or a combination of both? What do you think? A combination. Which combination? It's just, it's just the past, guys. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Third conditional only talks about the past. Of real situations, things that you can never, ever change in the past. Okay. Never. All right. So what mm -hmm. happened here? If he had been going slower, I wouldn't have a chance to see the driver. So what happened here? He didn't have the chance to see the driver. Can he go back in time? No, he can't. Right. No. So, all right. But what happens in the the? There is one that you saw here, which was a mixed conditional. Uh, let's see, right about the, 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 this one right here. Uh, if we have seen that truck before, we'd solve this mystery now. Okay, so that means if we had seen that truck before, we would solve this mystery now. Now, is this something that can still be solved? Yes. Yes, guys, okay. Now here... 
we're talking about something that we can do about it, guys. Right? Mm -hmm. So you see, that is the difference, okay? And that is a mixed conditional. Did we find another conditional in this paragraph? Located. Very good, Claudia, which one? Go ahead. Yes, the other is, is we located the owner will probably solve this mystery. Okay, where is it, where is it, where is it? If we located the owner, we'd probably solve this mystery, okay? Very good, Claudia. Applause for Claudia, guys. Claudia, very good. Now, what, what condition is this, Claudia? Mm -hmm. Second. Very good, okay. What conditional is this? Third. Why is that a third conditional? Um, because it has a, a good probably. That's okay. No, that's the second conditional, right? The, the reason why is because, first of all, you have to analyze the structure. Secondly, you have to think about, hey, uh, am I talking about an event that has a re you know repercussion in the, in the present or not, right? So that what that's what makes the difference, okay? All right, but good job, okay? All right, now there's another one, guys, which is the last one. If a truck moves. Very good, okay, if a and truck moves, a then he has a driver, okay? What type of conditional is this? Zero conditional. A zero conditional now. Oh, good job, all right? Hmm. I didn't That's the one that I was thinking when I told you about my science class. I know, I know. <laughs> all right, I didn't think that you were gonna get that one, but good job, guys. Good job, right? Come on, teacher. We're <laughs> advanced, teacher. We're advanced. All right, you guys are advanced. You're right. Okay, so guys, write down the structure. Okay, so what is the structure, Emir? The structure if if plus past perfect plus subject plus would plus verb base form. There is something I would okay. Uh, there, we're missing something here. Okay, we're just gonna add, you know, the complement. Okay, so let's change the color to a a um. I don't know, guys. It's something, a warm color. I don't know. This, okay? <laughs> All right, very good, guys. So, so if plus past perfect plus subject plus with plus verb in base form plus complement, okay? Let's make up, do me a favor, guys. Let's all do, send me two sentences, okay? But I want you to do this, okay? All right? I want you to check if you are able to use a different order. So can we change the order of the classes, guys? Yeah. All yes, right. we can. So how will, we, how will we change this? How will we change the order? Can you tell me what the order would be if we change the order? Subject plus would. Very good. OK, subject plus, plus would. Uh-huh. Plus? Plus verb base form. Plus verb in the base form. Okay, hold on. We're missing something there. Okay, so plus ba uh, verb in the base form. Plus what? If. Perhaps complement? Yes, complement. Uh-huh. Plus if, comma. Now, do we need, do we no. need a comma here, guys? No. No, Just in the first right? structure. Very good. Okay, that, that's one of the differences, right? No. By the way, we should add a comma here. I'm sorry. I am so sorry. All right, we should add a comma here. Very good. So if you start the clause, you know, if you start with the if clause, then you need a comma. If you don't start with the if clause, then you don't need a comma, okay? Very hmm. good. If uh, So subject, blah, 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 right? Very good. What else? Plus if. Plus <laughs> if, okay. Plus past perfect. Plus past perfect. Okay. Now, does it change the meaning? Does it change? Is changing the order something that would affect the meaning of what you're trying to say? No. No, teacher. No. Okay. It will not affect anything. Okay. It is exactly the same 
it has exactly the same meaning. Okay, very good. Questions so far, guys. Hey. Questions. Questions, questions? Mm -hmm. No? All right, very good. All right, guys. So, do me a favor, guys. Send me your own examples, okay? So, I'm going to show you some examples here, all right? Do me a favor and send me your own examples. I need one example starting with the if clause and one example starting with the main clause, okay? Okay, okay guys. I need one example starting with the if clause and one example starting with the main clause, all right? So this is what you see now is an example of what we just mentioned, right? Being able to switch it around. If I had worked harder at school, I would have I would have a better job now. If I had a, if I would have a better job now, I mean I would have a better job now if I had worked harder at school. I have a question to say. Go ahead. Hmm. I'm gonna send the sentences and you correct me because I'm, I'm doubting about something. That's okay. Uh, All right, so Emer, Claudia, Sandra, let's send, send me your examples, okay? Uh, Emer, if I had had enough time, I would spend more time with my family. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Okay, very good. Emer, you're sending me the exact same thing now. I know. It's, I know. Oh, okay, all right. Wait, if I okay. forget to. So let's change that. Well, I will send it to you. Go ahead. All right. My half, if my husband had hugged my daughter before he left the house, she wouldn't have cried all afternoon. That's correct. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. All right. Now, send me the other, the other way of saying it, okay? And also, Emer, you still need to the same, same one, teacher. Yeah, the same one. I just want to make okay. sure that you understand that you can change the order, okay? And I'm still waiting for you, Claudia and Sandra, okay? So let's go. Hey, one more day to go, guys. The, the same sentence. Um. But with yeah, the same sentence, but uh, change the order. I was Sandra, you writing. Good, Sandra? I was writing. Okay. Oh, but, but. Claudia, you good? Claudia? Oops. oops, oops, oops. John would have a lot of money. Well, you can do that too. You can send me another example if you want. Uh, too late. <laughs> I would spend more time with my family if I had had enough time. Okay. Period. John would have had a lot of money if he hadn't lost the match. Good job. Daddy. Daddy. Good, good, good job. Uh, Sandra says, well, Daddy. Uh, Carolina came, came first. If I had traveled to the USA, I would know a lot of places. All right, switch it, Claudia, right? I need to switch it. All right. If I scheduled my appointments, I wouldn't have had so many problems at work. I would I would play the piano if I had learned how to play. Okay, good job. If I scheduled my appointments, I wouldn't have had. Okay, very good. Now, if I scheduled my appointments, okay, now you're using the structure of a second conditional there, right? So if I scheduled my appointments, I wouldn't have had so many now that that right there, Sandra. Okay, when you combine it like that, does it make sense to you? If I scheduled my appointments, okay, so that's something that it's an imaginary situation about the future, right, or about the present in this case. Okay, if I scheduled my appointments, I wouldn't have had so many problems at work. It, 
this is what you're saying exactly, okay? Si yo tuviera mis citas, no hubiese tenido tantos problemas en el trabajo. Uh -huh. right? So, I mean, it, it's still... Uh, yeah, it makes sense. All right, yeah, it makes sense. It still makes sense. Okay, so you go. All right. I would play the piano if I had learned... If I had learned how to play it, okay? Good job. All right, that, that, that makes more sense then, okay? My daughter wouldn't have cried all afternoon if my husband had hugged her before she left. He left. I would buy my house if I had worked very hard. Very good. Okay, good job, guys. And applause for you guys. You guys are pretty smart. Very good. Okay. Good, good, good job. Any questions so far, guys? So far, is it good? All right. So there, there is, you know, you got more examples here. All right. Um, all right, guys. So time for a small quiz. Okay. You know what to do, guys. So I'll get you together and start working on that. On this. Hold your horses. Hold on. All right, guys. All right, Eric, if you want, let's join a room because everybody's working together. Uh, you can just click on whatever pop-up you came up with. We would we'll be together. together. <laughs> we'll be. I would be happier if I if I had said yes yes had said said had said if I had said I if I had said yes <laughs> hmm? when she asked me to marry her. Yeah. <laughs> if you weren't such a jerk, such a jerk, you they. Nah, sorry. <laughs> they wouldn't. Nah, they sorry. would have invited you. They would have invited you to the yeah. yesterday to yesterday's party. Will have. Can you see the exercises in the WhatsApp group? If not, I can share them with you here in the computer. Uh, yes, I, I yes, I, I, I got I got the exercise, but I don't let me let me enter in my computer right now. Okay. Let me, okay. let me, let me check. Let me check. We are going to do mixed conditions. Okay? Let me check. Um, yeah. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, that's only mixed mixed conditions. Yes. Okay. Yes. Let me let me connect to my computer, Carolina. Let me that's okay. Okay, sorry. Okay. 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 
now you you also have there i'm sorry there there are some exercises in which you're not able to use a uh no never mind actually all of them are it's okay okay yeah. all right oh my god it's hot today it is yeah. I will be happy with the second is a fun. Can I say the first and the second teacher and you tell me if they are correct? Go ahead. If I hadn't fought for our relationship, we wouldn't be together now. All right, very good. Now that's all right. If I hadn't fought for a relationship, we wouldn't be together now. That's that's perfect. All right. Very okay. Good. Next. One. I would be happier if I had said yes when she asked me to marry her. <laughs> oh, that's that's sad, but that's that's. Yeah. Good. <laughs> it is still the sentence. Yes. Is the sentence it, correct? Is it correct? What do you mean in jerk? It's the it's a, it's a name. What? Jerk. jerk? Oh, jerk. Yeah. Uh, jerk is like like someone, someone, someone bad, you know, someone stupid. Mm, okay. They. Ah, if you weren't such, such a jerk, they would invite invite you to yesterday's party. They would. We're talking when we say yesterday, guys. Are we talking about the future or the past? The past. Okay. The Think past. about it. Yes. <laughs> If you say they would in, they would invite it, they would invite you yesterday, that doesn't make sense, right? Because you're combining the future and the present. They I mean, will have the invited. Time. Yes. If you weren't such a jerk, they they invite they wouldn't have very good. Invite you. Now they would it or you. they would. If you were such a jerk, they would. They would, right? Because have invited you. Very good. Okay. What you have to put in there is the the imaginary situation, right? The hypothetical. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Very good. If you had had enough, as I told you. Uh huh. See you. I would see you. I will see you. I will meet you. Meet would, you. I would. I would meet you. I would. Meet I'd, you. I'd meet you. Okay. What about that? What are you talking about? The five one. Hey, dude. That background. Yes, that that background right there, dude, looks very real because of your fan. Unless uh, that's a, that's a fake fan. <laughs> It's the the fun is fake, and the room is real. <laughs> no, but that that looks Seriously? very cool, man. I know, I know, looks that real. that because there is a. Hold on, can you move a little bit? Just, just you know, just turn your chair. A, no, okay, all right. There, I can see that's fake because there is no shadow, and the uh. you know, on the background from your like the chair doesn't. <laughs> get any shadow from it but it's funny because because you know the, the real. i know the fan you know the fan is real but <laughs> it looks that 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 makes it look like if there is if there is um death you know be, behind so the funniest thing is my wall is green it's like if i had a green All screen right if, it's like if you had a green screen right well, you don't need one. I mean, you, you need you need uh -huh. you know you need a wall of the same color. I have mm -hmm. like I do. I don't need a, a wall of the same color in my background. 
because I have have a lot. I have a you know I have some clothes hanging from in, in the background, you know. So it's a different color, but still the the algorithm doesn't detect it. So mm -hmm. that's cool. All right, that's pretty cool, man. <laughs> All right, we're going to go back now, guys. Okay. All right, guys. All right, guys. So it's been an hour already since we started the class, but let's just review, guys, real quick, okay, what we have. So what's the answer for the first one? Uh, Emer. Go ahead. Your microphone. <laughs> oh, yeah, mal de teacher. Mal de teacher. If I had thought, if I hadn't thought your, for our relationship, we would be together now. Beautiful. Carolina, next one. I would be happier if I had said yes when she asked me to marry her. You know why this is a very unreal situation? Yeah. <laughs> because it says when she asked me to marry her, right? That's a movie about that teacher, about a girl asking. I think that happens, okay. guys. I think that happens in real life, but I haven't seen it in real life. I haven't seen it like myself, okay? Uh, but okay. I think it happens, you know? Sandra, next one. It can happen to you. It might, I don't know, but I don't think so. <laughs> you All have right, to say good. it. <laughs> if you weren't such a jerk, they would have yeah. invited you to yesterday's party. Very good, okay. They would have invited you to yesterday's party. Very good. Claudia, next one. Yes. If you, if you had gotten a map, as I told you, we wouldn't be lost now. Very good, okay. All right, very good. And last one, Emer. If I didn't love you, mm -hmm. I I would have married married you married. last year. Married? Married. Not married. 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 I you would have married last you night. last year. Last year. Last night. Woo! <laughs> Come on, Emer. What happened to you last All night? Right. Okay, very good. <laughs> All right. I'm asleep, sorry. All right. Hey, you're, you're missing the hello there, right? <laughs> I don't have enough energy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So that's it, guys. Okay. Uh, be early tomorrow, guys, because tomorrow is the last day. And we're going to go over. I mean, we're still, we still have one topic to see, guys. And we are going to see all the answers from um, last section, the last. The answers from the final exam so you can get 100 100 okay if you have not done it guys please 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 finish it guys finish the platform tonight the sooner we finish the platform the sooner we can start um you know another module right so that's the reason why it's very important right all classes have been uploaded to youtube guys if you have any question you know um just go ahead and and uh pull them up Aside from that, guys, uh, thank you very much for coming, all right? I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you, see guys. you teacher. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye, teacher. Bye. See you, guys.